friends and viewers, good day. The Diary of a Madman, written by Nikolai Gogol. This is a short story by Gogol, a famous Gogol, a writer of the dead soul, most famous for his uh, Taras Bulba, for his uh, short story, The Nose and The Overcoat. So today I am going to tell you about the diary of a madman. Who was the madman? Let me tell you. The protagonist of the short story is Aksinti Ivanovich Popristian. Aksinti Ivanovich Popristian is a middle-aged, low-level clerk who is fixated on a social rank and status. He pours over the detail of his life in daily entries, in his diary entries, which often illustrates his frustration and anger. One day he arrives late at his office and decides to go for a walk through town. While walking, he runs into Sophia. Who was Sophia? The daughter of his boss, the director. Sophia is out doing errands at a local shop. Her lap dog, Midji, waits for her owner outside. Popristian suddenly hears a voice and realizes that Midji, the lap dog, is talking to uh, Fidil, another neighborhood dog. Popristian is at first very surprised to hear the dog speaks in human language, but then claims that there have been many examples of this type of animal behavior in the world. Popristian Eva drops further on the dog's conversation and hears that Medji has written Fidali a letter. He ends that day's diary entry by making a note of where Fidali lives and claims he will visit soon. The next day, diary's entry, Popristian recalls scene from his office. He recounts how his boss study is filled with books with foreign titles indicating that the director is an educated man. When Sophie walks into the office, Popristian is struck dumb by her appearance. In his head, he fantasizes about impressing her with well-worded phrase. In reality, however, Sophie drops her handkerchief and poor Christian nearly trips over his feet to retrieve it for her. She then leaves with the two of them having exchanged barely any words. A lackey comes in and tells poor Christian to go home for the day. The next few entries in poor Christian's diary describe mundane scene from his life. He has an interaction with a section chief, one of his manager, about his unimpressive career trajectory. Instead of taking the criticism seriously, Popristian believes the section chief is envious of him for his innate social status. Popristian diary eventually returns to the subject of the dog's letter. He admits to seeing Midji in town and writes about how he asked her to reveal detail about Sophie's life. He then described going to Fidili home and stealing a bundle of little papers. Popristian believes the letter will help him finally learn about the fear of his neighborhood as the dogs know all the political relation. Popristian does not seem shocked at his own behavior and is fully convinced that the dogs are capable of writing each other letters about political intrigue. Popristian reads the letter, which sometimes contained digression about food and being pitied by the dog owners, but also revealed the director's political ambitions, as well as Sophie's love interest, a low-ranking noble man named Tiplov. 
Koprishchin is infuriated by this news and writes angrily in his diary about how richer men get all that's best in the world. Koprishchin continues to express anger, frustration in his diary entries, railing against what he believes to be an unjust world. He writes somewhat hopefully that he might be some sort of count or general and that maybe his role as counselor is a mistake. He begins to think he may not know who really he is. He then recounts reading a story in the newspaper where there are a strange doing in the Spain. He reads that the throne is vacant and the Spain officials are trying to select and hear. Popristian expresses disbelief, claiming that a state cannot be without a king. He starts to believe that the king is merely somewhere unknown or hiding due to mysterious circumstances. Suddenly, Pope Christian diary entries change tone. He writes that it is the year 2000 and that Spain king has been found. He claims that he, in fact, is Spain long lost king and cannot fathom how he ever thought he was a mere counselor. Pope Christian diary entries continues to become more nonsensical. He writes in entry dated the 86th of Martuber that he has not been to work for three weeks. When he finally shows up to the office, having been scolded by his manager, he signs paper as a Ferdinand the Eight, the name he has given himself as Spain lost king. He then begins a long written litany against women, claiming that they are all in love with the devil. Pope Christian eventually writes that Spanish deputies have taken him to Spain, but his description make it clear that he is actually being imprisoned in an asylum. At this point, Pope Christian entries are devoid of any semblance of reality. He believes that China and Spain are one and the same and is worried about a phenomenon where the earth sits on the moon. When he announces worries to other patients at the asylum, a staff member beats him with a stick. Pop Christian fantasies persist and he believes the various corporal punishment he received are forms of court etiquette. In Spain, this fantasy initially keeps him from realizing the bleakness of his situation. Though he admits the cursed stick is extremely painful. Eventually, however, this physical torture begins to take away the shine of Propistian royal delusion and he becomes aware of his total isolation. He claims his hand is burning and asks to be saved and carried out of the world. He imagines a scene with his mother in which he cries out for her to save him. Our sick child with his cry for help, Propistian briefly acknowledges alienation from the world. He then adds nonsensically that the D, D of the Algiers, a royal figure, has bumped under his nose, indicating that his insanity has returned. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, this, uh, the diary of a madman is no doubt very interesting, full of uh, 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 very interesting also. It uh, tells us how the uh, uh, Nikolai Gugol uh, had predicted this man, Propistian, as his hero. It is written and published in 1835. So uh, the story revolves around the themes and plot. The story is presented in the form of a diary narrated by the protagonist, Propistian, a government clerk. The entries 
haphazardly mix the past tense recounts of events of the day with the present time registering of thoughts and association relating to them descends into madness one thing is very um, interesting in this short story that is popperschen gradually descent into insanity recording his frustration humiliation and eventually delusion he became obsessed with sophie the daughter of his superior and starts experiencing hallucination delusion identity propostion eventually adopts a delusion identity as the rightful king of spain believing his enemies have engineered his exile he decide to read one more letter and learns that sophie is now madly in love with a young chamberlain that they are engaged that the father is very happy so the theme of this novel is the story explores themes of madness alienation and the relationship between individual and society propostion descent into madness is a result of his alienation from society and his desire to achieve the dignity and authority that he sees around him so ladies and gentlemen no doubt very beautiful short story the diary of madman by nikolai gogol i hope you will enjoy it thank you very much kindly subscribe this channel thank you